if you don't fail often enough, your work isn't innovative enough. Think about a lock and key. So when you open a door with a key, you need to have a specific key that can open that lock. So think about that lock being the target that we are trying to modulate with a the therapeutic. We have to design a key that's unique and specific for that lock. We need to develop a molecule for a more target in the human body that we have determined to be relevant for human disease. So when we talk about protein engineering, what it means we need to design a molecule that can engage that target that causes disease. Understanding that, and having done this uh, previously in a one-by-one -one design, we have now started to make many of these molecules at the same time. We started to design automation procedures for every stage of the design of these molecules. Of course, always designed by scientists in an intended way. So now we can make hundreds of these molecules. We can make libraries of them. And now we can screen for the desired function. And those are very, very important breakthroughs that now allow us to even more customize a therapeutic solution to the therapeutic area, to the target, thereby make more effective medications. We want medications that go only where they have to go. It may treat a form of cancer, it may treat Alzheimer's, it may help us in treating patients with MS. Discovery of novel medicines is an extremely risky business. If you're not an optimist, you would never do it. Because most programs fail, you have to drive the science forward. And here at AMPHI, we be doing this every day. It's really motivating. Uh, and, and exciting and, and really inspires people to work even harder to get better medications for patients.